I personally just love ranking videos and I have done a couple of brand related rankings lately, but I was also asked, I think it was in the comments, to do themed rankings. So we're starting in this video with my top five cool tone palettes and my top five warm tone palettes. Talking about eyeshadow, if that wasn't clear. And I do these in one video because it's only five. I could have done 10, but when I do 10, I sometimes feel like I'm, I'm just listing what I have without really thinking about this. While when I do only five, I have to sort out, I have to think, I have to touch, I have to swatch in preparation of a video like that. And so we are here with the top five. Before we head into that, of course, the lip of today. This is the Makeup by Mario uh, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum, in, Lip Serum in Pomegranate Glow. And if you wonder, I'm filming this while I'm still a bit sick. You already saw it, I think, last week or no, yesterday, the day before yesterday. This week, and my you don't need that shit. So I, I'm basically filming these on the same day. So I'm very sorry for that nasally voice and the stuffy nose. And oh my, my ear is just, uh, I have a cold. I hate it. So let's start with the warm toned palettes. And I have to admit, if you watch my videos for longer, if you've been following me now for longer, I am pretty, pretty sure that you can guess what my top warm and my top cool tone palette is. Take the time, pause the video, put your guess down below, and then just comment again if you were right or not, because I'm very, very curious. Let's start with the warm palettes. Honestly, that was hard, because I don't think that I have too many eyeshadow palettes in my collection that I would call a true warm toned palette. I have a lot of mixed palettes. I have a lot of palettes that are in certain color stories, but not all of them are true warm tones. So that that selection was hard. I had to touch them. I had to look at them. And honestly, at the end, it would have been an easy top five with only doing Pat McGrath. Because let's be honest, every mothership since Mothership 5 is somewhat of a warm palette, but I did not include any Mothership or any Pat McGrath. At number five, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals palette. This is a fiery, warm, cozy palette that will deliver you the most insane and beautiful warm fire looks. My favorite shades in this palette are definitely Rose Fire, Dune, and honestly, Noble. These three shades are so freaking pretty. I love that palette. I sadly have not touched it in quite some time, but just by preparing this video, I was just reminded of how much I love this palette. And even the slight dirty greens that are just thrown in here, they just complement every single look and you can just mix and match these colors as you like and you will always end up with a beautiful look. At number four, we have the definition of a warm eyeshadow palette. We have the definition of a fall eyeshadow palette. Spoiler, there will be a top 10 fall palettes, but this definitely needs to be mentioned here in this video, and that is this guy. This is the Be Perfect X Stacey Marie Carnival 4 palette, the Antidote. This palette is, first of all, this was the first time I ever heard about this collab palette and about the brand Be Perfect in general. And when I got this palette, I was extremely disappointed because I got this in a mystery box from a German makeup store. But now <laughs> I'm extremely thankful that I got this palette. As I just said, this is the definition of a fall palette. This is the definition of the whole season that we are going to slide in. This has everything, orange, warm pinks, warm neutral browns, and the muddy greens. It is a 45 pan palette with the most 
beautiful formulation on the market and honestly not enough people talk about the Be Perfect X Stacey Marie palettes in general. I don't know if it's because it's mainly UK based and I have not seen a lot of people outside the UK talk about this but you are truly 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 missing out. I'm waiting for Carnival 6 actually and I don't know if that will ever happen. At number three, I want to mention a very, very new addition to my collection. And to be honest, this was a last minute switch because initially I had a different palette at number three, but when I gathered the palettes here in prep for filming now, I thought, no, it does not feel right. I do want to give this palette the, the, the time to shine now because I actually raved about the palette in my review and it would be a crime to now not mention the I Need a Warm. Believe it or not, just like the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona, this palette was not what I think it will be. It surprised me because this is a type of warm eyeshadow palette that I love. The golden palette is nice, I like it too. It, it could be in this listing also, but not at the top five. If I had a top 10 done out of this, probably it would be a 10 or a nine, somewhat in there. But the I Need a Warm has the type of warm eyeshadow that I love, and that is orange leaning. Orange leaning warm fiery eyeshadows. Some of them even have a slight red undertone like flash over Talk and flash over. It also has the new formulation the new slip cream. I am such a fan of this palette and Honestly, this is one of the best curated monochromatic palettes that Tasha Denona has brought out in a while at number two, we have a quad, actually, that I think none of you expected in this ranking. So I'm always good for a surprise. I'm talking about the Victoria Beckham Smoke Break, and this is Tweet. Basic bitch in a quad. Yes, 100%. But this is so good. I love this eyeshadow formula in the smoke break so much that I still think of getting all the others aside her signature one. That is not for me, but I really want to have that blue one. Then there is a silk one, I think with only shimmers, and a tuxedo one in gray black. I want to have this and currently, or at least the last time I checked, the tuxedo one was not available, but I want to order them all in one go. So I'm still thinking about this. It's so freaking pretty. And I think what makes this quad one of the most perfect warm quads is definitely this outside shade here. This is the shade Rust. This you can even use on any other look that you want. If you just want to warm it up, take a bit of rust and you will add a rusty coppery fire in a matte eyeshadow. But my favorite warm eyeshadow palette is actually not marketed as eyeshadow palette that's in a warm section. It's marketed as a neutral eyeshadow palette. And well, how convenient, it's actually called The Neutrals by Cosmic Brushes. I don't know who told the owner of Cosmic Brushes, I think her name is Faye, that this is a neutral eyeshadow palette. This is a warm eyeshadow palette. And look how fiery and cozy and just comforting this eyeshadow palette looks. I love the mix of these warm browns together with a bit of dirt greens, but you also have this row of, of warm pinks and warm purples that will just turn every eyeshadow in something, something special. Every look can get a twist that you might did not expect. I absolutely love this palette. I think the black does a great job in this palette to just transform everything in this palette from a comforting, hugging, warm eyeshadow look into something very, very dark and smoky, but still with the fire of a warm eyeshadow palette. Now let's move on to my favorite 
cool toned eyeshadow palettes and this this was hard for a very specific reason there are so many other palettes that would have earned a spot in top cool toned but i will also do a top five gothy vibes palette ranking thing and some of the palettes that i would have loved to put in this ranking i want to put in the goth vibe but I didn't want to have like double pads, you know, I don't want to have them there. So it took me also a good while to think about this. And I'm starting right away with number five. Big surprise probably for a lot of you. This is the Huda Beauty Matte Obsessions Cool Palette. This came out last year and honestly, this is a pink cool toned dream. I don't know what exactly it is, but pink cool tones or cool toned pinks and everything in this color family left and right surrounding it is a color that Huda Beauty just nails every single time. I do have the pretty grunge palette and the cool toned pinks in there outstandingly good. Mercury retrograde the cool toned pinks freaking awesome. Rose quartz was a banger. I hope that this year the 18 pan palette will be something cool toned to maybe a more louder version of rose quartz. I don't know, but this palette is so, so good. I love the looks I can do with this. I can pair it with my chrome flakes, with my glitters. It's just a multitasker that I think you need to have. And these two shades here are the cream shades from Huda Beauty and they are very, very good. While the creamy obsessions cool, I decluttered because they are not as good as the creams in this one. At number four, and I, I could not have done this ranking without the Viseart Petite Mattes Cool. This is just also a palette that works for me as a companion palette whenever I need some cool tone shades to just cool a look down or to have a bit more of a blending, to have a smoother blend. This has everything you want from neutral browns, a row of gray, cool toned denim blues and cool toned lilac -y purples. Beautiful palette, highly, highly, highly recommend this. I was 100% sure that in this ranking, I will either put the Beauty Base Smoky palette or the Natasha Denona Xenon. Both, no, definitely not. I don't think that they are to be put in, in a top five ranking of cool toned palettes, both. So I had to think of what, uh, how did I review these? And at the end, when I rewatched my, my, my reviews on this, I was reminded of something that I said, and I still stand by this today. I think the Beauty Bay Smoky palette is the better Xenon. And that is not mainly for quality or so, because the quality of Natasha Denona is very, very hard to, to just hold up with. It's the variation. Even in the 16 pan version of this, this is the 30, as you can tell, the variation of grays is just so good that they do not all turn blue on me. Something in the Natasha Denona color choice of undertones in her Xenon palette makes every single look turn into gray-blue on my skin tone. I don't mind that. I think it's very pretty. But if I want to have a really cool toned palette without having it turning blue in the in a second, in a snap of a blend or so, I much rather grab the Beauty Base Smoky palette. So many choices of mattes for cool toned looks, beautiful two rows of intense shimmers and some not so intense thrown here down there. but. Honestly, this covers everything from true neutral browns, leaning slightly cool toned, cool toned, true grays, a little bit of purple, but also the blues. And some of you might thought, well, this palette that I'm going to mention might be my favorite cool toned palette, but it is not. It's actually number two. I mean... Come on, if we're talking about cool tone palettes, 
who am I to skip? Oh, I nearly dropped it. To skip the ColourPop Twilight palette. This palette is, I mean, have you seen the movies? They have a cool filter. They, they color graded that whole movie in, in, in cool toned blues and greens. And this is what the palette is representing. I think this is, I have talked about this palette this year so many freaking times I can't stop and I cannot promise you to not rave about this again in my end of year rankings. Honestly, this will probably make it to the top 10 of all time. This is such a good cool toned palette without being gray. That is something very, very important because with grays, yes, you can easily do a cool tone palette, but the art is to have a cool tone palette without the grays. Beautiful executed, stunning colors, stunning theme, a must have for a Twilight fan. And at number one, my favorite cool toned palette in my collection at this point in mid or late 2024, no surprise, I gave it a raving review when I talked about the palette, the Cosmic Brushes Cool Trolls. This is, I don't, okay, I didn't plan this to have cool trolls and neutrals at the top of cool toned and warm toned palettes. It just is like that because it is that good. In my review about this, I also said that I'm not really sure if I like the Winter Wonderland more or this one more, but at the end, even in my Cosmic Brushes ranking, the Cool Trills actually won that because this has a bit more variation in the Cool Tone family. I want to give an honorable mention here to Winter Wonderland, but to me, while this is a cool tone palette, this is a very specific type of cool tone because it's an ice queen palette. And while I appreciate an ice queen palette, when I think of a cool toned palette to use on a daily basis, I think of this one and I'm thinking not of Winter Wonderland, although I love it and it's very pretty and it's oh, outstandingly pretty shimmers in there. But the Cool Trills palette from uh, Cosmic Brushes, just set a standard in cool toned palettes and it's pretty hard for any com competitor to meet up with the standard that's set with the cool trills. Let me please know down below if you guessed that right. If you did, damn, you really, really know me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me please know your favorite cool toned and your favorite true warm toned palette so that I can um, have a look and those maybe I have them and I just forgot about them. Hopefully not. Thank you so much for watching Make sure to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one